Uh, Brandon Pritzel was a key cog in a couple of really strong Hillsdale College basketball teams. He stepped away for a couple of years. He's coming back as an assistant coach for the 2016-2017 season. Brandon, it's great to have you back. How are you? Really good, really good. I'm, I'm extremely excited about being back here uh, and ready to get to work. So let's, let's talk about your journey. Uh, <laughs> what was your first year at Hillsdale College as a player? My, my first year, uh, a, lot, a lot of sitting and a lot of standing at the, at the end of the bench rooting for those guys. But, but it was a tremendous learning experience from you know, seeing what Coach Tharp expected out of, his, out of his players and seeing what the old guys kind of, how they competed and what they did on and off the floor to kind of embody what it meant to be a Hills the basketball player. And your freshman year, I'm trying to look up your stats right now. What was your freshman year? 2010-11. Okay. And then you work your way more into the lineup in the next couple of years, and ultimately you're a starter. Yeah, uh, for, my for yep, Coach Tharp. yep. My sophomore year, I was fortunate enough to to start uh, a lot of games, and that was the year uh, we won the conference, and then eventually lost to Finley in the tournament championship but ended up making the uh, the NCAA tournament that year. Tyler Gerber was out of his mind in that uh, conference playoffs. Uh, he's one of our favorite players, um, just a great leader and a great emotional guy. And he was playing out of his mind that year, wasn't he? He, he was a lot of fun to play with and a lot of fun to kind of step back and watch play uh, a little bit. And unbelievable leader, not really the loudest guy, but he demanded respect from everybody – for, who was six ten to to you know six two? Him being, him being maybe maybe five eight, but everybody kind of listened when he spoke. Brandon Pritzel in 2011-2012 was named to the GLIAC All Defensive Team. Uh, he averaged about eleven points a game, and and kind of a guy that uh, could be counted on to, to lock down defensively. That's something you took a lot of pride in, isn't it? Yeah, it was. I watched my freshman year. I kind of watched Nick Miner. Uh, kind of just be physical with guys and lock them down and that's how he found a role on the floor and with him graduating then me going into my sophomore year I figured that'd be a way for me to kind of see a little bit of time on the floor but it was something that that coach Tharp needed. Brandon Pritzel joins us tonight he's the new assistant coach uh, at Hillsdale College he'll get started in a couple of weeks as soon as I heard this Rosie uh, one of our listeners uh, emailed me right about the time I found out about it and said when are you having Brandon on the show? You need to get him in. I said, I'll text John right now. And here you are. I mean, it, you talk about playing for John Tharp. I work with him from a broadcast angle, so it's a lot different. He's the nicest guy I know. Uh, he's so accommodating. Uh, he's always there whenever I need anything from him from a radio standpoint. And the way that he works with the team uh, is really cool to watch. I mean, I see him carry more players than any other team in the GLIAC. You mentioned being at the end of that bench your first year. And I always ask the guys, how can those guys who never get to play stick with the rigors of the practice and the four or five month season that you go through? And I think John has a lot to do with that culture, the one fist mentality uh, that you guys really work with. And it, it's not just a cliche. You guys really buy into that, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. What's funny is you stay in contact with a lot of the guys uh, after you graduate, um, and they'll even throw the one fist at the end of an email, at the end of a text, or kind of end a phone call that way. So it's something that he pays attention to everybody on the roster. He gives everybody the same amount of respect uh, and demands that everybody on the team give each other that same respect. And so that's kind of where that culture comes from. It's so funny. The first time we meet the guy, I'm like, "This is the guy they hire to be the the bed best." <laughs> he's kind of he's about my size. He's not a real big guy. He's not real intimidating, at least to look at. Uh, but when you watch the guy coach, the fire, the passion, the competitiveness, it's all there, man. And you, you know, last year he would grab Dzelski and rip him off the floor and chew him out right in yeah. front of. I mean, it didn't matter if you were a star or the end of the bench. He was going to coach you. And as you start to work with him now from a coaching standpoint. Are those some things that you want to kind of implement into your approach as a coach? Absolutely. I think he's kind of instilled a little bit of that fire in me you know, from playing for him. And a lot of the things that I did during my time at Ohio, you know, I'd catch myself kind of 
well, that that's kind of something Coach Slurp would say, or mm-hmm. that's that's something that we did at, at Hillsdale, and it it's kind of just a part of me now, and I'm excited to to bring it back here and be on the other side of things. Well, I wanted to ask you about that. You leave Hillsdale College, you graduate, you go to Ohio University as a graduate mm-hmm. assistant for two years, right? Yep. T- talk a little bit about that experience. Uh, it's a Mac school, right? Mac school, a little different, a uh, little bigger school. What was it like? I had no idea what I was getting myself into. <laughs> Absolutely zero idea. Uh, I was ten and a half hours away from home. I told myself after I graduated, I'm not going back to school. I've had four years. I'm done. Uh, end up going back to school for two years. And but but down there, the coaching staff was a perfect fit for my personality, and I meshed with all those guys down there. But I learned a lot what it is to kind of manage a bigger program in a bigger school. They have you know they have a few more resources to recruit they they can they take in season tournament travel to Hawaii we were in the virgin islands this year so just everything they do is kind of on a grander scale um and they can afford to have more people on staff as well so jobs are kind of divided and and you get to work with a bunch of people to see what they do and, and you know how they help the program so a couple of years at Ohio, um, when do you get a call about a possibility at Hillsdale College? Did did somebody contact you and ask you if you were interested? Did you hear about it and apply kind of a cold application? Tell us how you got back to Hillsdale. Uh, we were still playing uh, down at Ohio. We were in our postseason uh, CBI tournament. And Coach Slarp kind of behind the scenes had mentioned that uh, Luke – Lacer might be leaving, might be a possibility, but, you know, nothing for sure. Right. And so he said, would you, if, if that happens, would you be interested in the possibility? And I want to coach. Being a GA for the past two years, you don't get to coach. You can't have your hands on. Mm-hmm. And I said, I absolutely. And being familiar with Hillsdale, it was right away, absolutely. And so we kind of kept in touch, you know, as as – Luke made his decision with what he was going to do, and it kind of just rolled over. It, it took some time, I guess, to kind of let the pieces fall in place. But Coach Slarp finally said, hey, everything's good to go. Come up here and, and interview and go through all that process, and we'd, be, we'd love to have you. Were there other people being considered for the job, or were you pretty much the only applicant? No idea. You were the one that counted because you're the one that they hired. Yeah, that's uh, the, yeah. that's yeah. fair to say, right? <laughs> yeah. You're not trying to brag or anything. Brandon Pritzel joins us. To me, to look at this as an opportunity to be an assistant coach, it's appealing for a couple of reasons. Number one, obviously you're familiar with John and the, the team and everything else. But number two, you look at the turnover and the assistant coaches. Pistol was here for six, seven years. Uh, coach Evans was here for a really long time. Coach Tharp doesn't burn through assistants every single year. I mean, there's a real family there. The roots get put down for – you know, for an assistant coach to be at one place for six, seven years, that's pretty rare. Uh, these guys tend to find other opportunities, to, whatever the case may be. Isn't that stability appealing to somebody in your situation to want to be part of? Absolutely. And I think what the cool part is a lot of those guys, you know, Coach Evans played for Coach Tharp mm-hmm. back in the Lawrence days. And uh, Pistol, Pistol Pete followed him from Lawrence, and he was here for uh, five years, six years, whatever. The other cool thing that I noticed was Luke played for him, played for Coach Tharp, jumped right into being an assistant coach. Mm-hmm. Uh, coach Schwanair, Ryan, I Joe, he hasn't left. You know, he, he was here for five years, and now he's still here. And then he, now I get the opportunity. So it's all kind of players and people who Coach is familiar with who, who are now his assistants, and I think – it goes back to the respect thing I talked about before is he respects me as an individual, as me as a player. And he knows that I want to be a great coach. And so I think he's comfortable with, with me being here. And I res- I respect him for giving me the opportunity. Talk about Schwani. I mean, uh, he got assigned the duty of uh, doing the post game interviews with me last year. Uh, I, I think that's the low man on the totem pole that gets that job, but he did a great job with it. And he he just real the, the passion that I saw from him. He seemed to me as a broadcaster to be kind of a quiet guy during his career, uh, but we saw a different side of him last year as a coach. To be reunited with him, uh, to be back obviously with Coach Tharp. I don't know if any of the current players were some of the young guys 
some of the guys that are older now might have been there when you were there. Do you know any of the players at all? Uh, Stead, uh, Stead Lowry, it was his freshman year. Sure. He redshirted sure. when I was here. Uh, I think it was Archer redshirted as well. I mean, I'm familiar with a few of the other guys just because I, I think I remember seeing their faces when they came on their visits or they were around. But, but not real close right, to them or I mean, anything yeah, like that. Right, yeah, uh, right. So fun to be back with Schwan. Yes, yeah. It's it's funny. I We had a recruit the other day, and I told him this, kind of the story. Uh, coach Schwan – He's always he was always a coach when he was a player. You know, mm-hmm. he mm-hmm. coach Slapper would run down on the bench and ask him, "But what, what was this guy's in the right position on this play? What <laughs> what is he thinking?" And there was a time in practice where we were going over how we were going to defend. Uh, I think it was Grand Valley, and and Schwan and I were on the side and going, "This this isn't going to work." We completely disagreed with Coach Slarp, and he caught us kind of sulking and, and talking under our under our breaths and he called us out on it and so you know it was again back to the respect thing he he wanted to hear what we had to say and he he allowed us to talk but at the end of the day we 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 figured it out but we were always kind of me and Co- me and Schwan were always kind of thinkers I would say it's sure. just part of who we are thinking the game and learning the game and uh, you're not always going to agree with every single coach right. or decision that's part of sports uh brandon pritzel is the new assistant coach at hillsdale college what's the rest of the summer look like into the fall i mean what is your role going to be specifically what do you plan on bringing to this program uh, and specifically what will your job be well with with june uh kind of getting halfway through here we can start our we can start our camps we have our kids camp coming up uh next week and then we have our, our team camps the week following uh and then once july kind of rolls around it's it's all recruiting that's the hot the hot period to get out and see kids there's tournaments all over the country but you know we have to pick the ones where where our guys are that we're interested in and then august kind of i think from a coaching standpoint is you get a few kids on campus, and you kind of sure up who you're interested in, and and get ready for the school year. But the rest of the summer is kind of all recruiting, and then once the school year rolls around, and the guys are on campus. It's, I mean, it's time to coach them. It's time to get ready to win another GLIAC championship. Now that you're back on campus, uh, will you enroll in a couple of uh, classes? Uh, because. Uh... <laughs> I know what you're going to answer on this. It's such a grind for you guys uh, as a student athlete at Hillsdale College, one of the toughest schools around. I think that you can help with the young guys because you've been through that, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, and I probably won't be enrolling this year since I just – Take a break. Yeah, take a I, need, break. I need some time off from You from can help studying. the guys with their calculus uh, homework and stuff, though, right? I mean, <laughs> no, no nah, problem. Not me and math. No, no thank you. <laughs> no thank you. Brandon, it was a nightmare doing your games uh, when you and Pretzel were playing together because of the nonsense of the PR. Pretzel, 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 you know, yep. oh my gosh, made my head spin. But you look at a guy like Jason Pretzer, I think he's a great example of John Tharp developing players. Here's a guy who really was a guy who wanted to hang out at the perimeter his freshman year and shoot threes. Mm-hmm. They worked really hard with him to develop more of a versatile game where he could be an inside-out player. And you saw last year, he took over a couple of their games and was the key guy in helping them win. John Tharp doesn't just get you on campus. I feel like once you're there, you're going to get developed. You're going to become a better player. Is that is that the way that you look at it too? Yeah, absolutely. He he demands that you kind of work. Mm-hmm. You work at, at your game. And he Coach Tharp's really good at pointing out, you know, you need to this summer, you need to work on – shooting right-hand jump hooks. You need to work on back-to-the-basket game. Something with you – know, Pretzer's a great example of improving, kind of getting in the post, but it, Tim Dazelski wasn't known for a lot of his kind of face-up mm-hmm. game until his senior year. That's something he put in the, the summer before. And I give a lot of credit to Pretzer and a lot of a lot of credit to Coach Tharp. When, when Pretzer came on his visit and he kind of played with us, all he did was shoot threes, and I was like, Coach, we don't need a seven-foot – Bombs away, yeah, right, Chucker, you know, and right. and the kid. I was in the gym with him a lot, and he worked and worked and worked, and eventually he he became a really, really, really good player. So it's going to be an interesting season that you're coming into because it is a transition year. You have Tim Dzelski, who's one of the best players in the history of this program, uh, moving on. You don't have a Kyle Cooper anymore. Um, you know, it is going to be an opportunity. I feel like for people to step up and and take over a leadership role on this basketball team. For you coming in right now, 
it's just going to be kind of a fun year to kind of get your feet wet and, and kind of be part of that transition, right? Yeah, we've talked in the office a little bit, and we're guard heavy this year. Mm-hmm. You know, Coach Slarp's been fortunate enough to have a lot of really good foremen uh, the last basically four graduating over four years, and they'll be guard heavy this year, and, and that's what I'm familiar with is, is guards. You know, I, I, I love to work with them, and that's kind of who I worked with in my previous two years down at Ohio. So the way we play will look similar, just maybe not as many big guys, but mm-hmm. maybe it will. You know, I, I'm not familiar with the roster completely, but you know, we may have a few different type of offensive looks coming now john always puts on a camp i assume you're going to help out with the camp this summer and absolutely. kids listening right now you could get a chance to work with coach pretzer over the summer right absolutely yep. we uh i believe it starts next it starts next week uh there's still room uh it's three days from 9 to 11 uh 11 15 to 1 15 and then uh two to four three different sessions so Brandon, it's awesome to have you back. Glad to be it's here. It's great to have you back in the family, and uh, not that you ever left, but to have you on campus every day and working with the kids, it's going to be really exciting. Look forward to talking to you again in the fall, and, and have a great summer, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Brandon Pritzel is a new assistant coach with John Tharp for that college basketball team, and again, uh, their camp is next week. Next week. You can find out more at hillsdale.edu slash athletics. We'll